Hi, it's Sandra here from Creating Spain and today I wanted to talk to you again about stamp making. I haven't done the video on stamp making for a little while so I thought I'd do one. Um, this is just a few hint, uh, hints and tips to make life a little easier for you if you want to make your own stamps. The first thing I want to talk about is the container that you have your gel in. It comes in a big black one kilo container generally and it's a bit difficult to use that making small stamps. Obviously it's designed for people who are making you know A4 size plus stamp sheets. Majority of the time what you're going to be doing is one or two stamps at a time, relatively small stamps most of the time and this kind of bottle and I think this one is probably about uh, oh, here we go, 125 mil up to there, so it's about 150 mil. This is plenty big enough and it's easy to use. It has a nozzle on it which will direct your gel very happily and it's a great alternative. You must, however, keep it in a drawer, don't keep it out on your desk. Obviously, it's UV gel, so you know it will set if it's subjected to UV light. The other thing that I wanted to mention, sometimes these tops are a little loose. What I've done with mine, because I found that was a problem, I put some grey electrical tape around the top. Electrical tape kind of stretches and it grips quite well, so it's quite a good one to use. And that means that my top fits much more snugly and isn't going to come off on me because that has happened before. I've been in the middle of doing a stamp and the whole lot's come off. Not clever. Um, if you need to clean out any old gel from these, your best bet is to actually cure it under the lamp and then get a pair of tongs into the bottle and just pull it out. Easy peasy. The next thing I wanted to talk about is when you choose your stamp designs, choose things of a similar size. These days I have learned that the best thing for me to do is to design my image to fit a certain size dam. So I've got dams of all different shapes and sizes. But I think to myself, right, what size do I want to use if it's a sentiment? And then I make some which are all the same size. So I might do different sentiments, but I resize them to be the same. I might resize the longest side to be three centimeters or four centimeters or whatever it is. But then I simply repeat my black background and I've got one, ah, here we go. See, my black background. And in this particular case, I put half a dozen of that size on an A5 sheet and that's ready to print then. And then I choose my sentiments and I resize them to a specific size to fit that particular ring or square or whatever. That saves me wasting a lot of gel. Because if you design a stamp, and then suddenly if you're using rings or something like that and you suddenly think, ah, it's a bit too big for that one, but it's not big enough to fill that one. You're just wasting your gel. So it's better to do it the other way around. Along the design front too, what you want to do is to try and make sure that your designs that you're going to do at any one time in one go are the same sort of thickness of line. That will make life a lot easier for you because you'll find you'll get into your stride you'll know exactly what time it's going to take to cure and you can just go one two three four and just keep churning them out it will make life a lot easier and it'll make it a lot quicker so the next thing i wanted to mention was either latex gloves or barrier cream some people don't like to get their hands sticky or maybe you find you're a bit sensitive to the gel i have very sensitive skin but i can handle the gel no problem it's not an issue for me but if that isn't the case for you and you're thinking of using latex gloves try using a barrier cream first because it's going to be really difficult to handle with latex gloves, your gloves are just going to get sticky, get messy, 
yeah, it's, it's ju it, it just doesn't work. I mean, I did try it, but it does not really work. So try a good barrier cream on your hands first. That leads me to the last thing, which is hand washing. With the best will in the world, unless you've used a barrier cream, your hands are going to be sticky when you have finished working. Now, the easiest way I have found of getting this stuff off is to put oil on your hands, really rub it in well, and then wash your hands. It does two things. It removes the stickiness, and it also makes your hands feel nice and soft. So it's a win-win situation. So there we go. Those are my hints and my tips today on stamp making. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care now. Bye-bye.